In the previous lecture, we have seen that what is a demultiplexer and how to implement a 1 cross 2 DMUX. So, in this video, we will see how to implement a 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. So, 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. So, as I have explained in the previous video, so there will be one input, let us say that is D or I0, whatever we want to, we can take, and there are four outputs, okay, namely the outputs may be Y0, Y1, Y2, and Y3. Now, I need some selection line so that I can select to which of this to which of this output the input will appear because there are four outputs now in this case. So, with one selection line I cannot do it. So, I need two selection lines here that is let us say S1 and S0 fine. Now, the circuit required to accomplish this if I keep it inside. So, that becomes a 1 cross 4 demultiplexer fine. So, uh, to get this demultiplexer what we need? We need to implement the logic gates. So, for that I need the output boolean expression. So, y0 is equals to what? y0 will be equals to s1 dash s0 dash into d. Okay. Before that, let me draw the truth table also. So, we have two selection lines here that is s0 and s1 and four outputs y0, y1, y2 and y3. So, the logic is if the selection line is 0, 0, then what will happen? The output y0 will be activated that means the input d that will be appearing across output y0 while the other values will remain 0, other outputs remain 0. Now, if the input is 0, 1, then the first output will be selected that means the rest of the output will remain 0, only y1 value will be active and it will be reflecting according to the input that is d here. Now, 1, 0, so again 0, 0, y2 will be activated, so it will be written like this, last one is 1, 1, where only y3 will be activated, so this will be the truth table. Now, what is, what is the y0. So, see you can boolean expression if you remember you can consider this as four different functions with two variables. So, we just write the SOP. So, for y0 SOP is d into s1 dash s0 dash. Similarly, y1 is equals to, so y1 is here that means it is s1 dash into s0 into d. Similarly, y2 will be s1 into s0 dash into d and y3 will be s1 s0 into d fine. So, this is how this is what we, uh, we are going to implement now. So, to get the circuit I will just remove all this and let the outputs be there fine. So, okay. so what will be the circuit here? So, there will be one AND gate to which the initial inputs are S1 dash, another input is S0 dash and another input is D and this will provide me the output D0. Similarly, I need 4 NAND gates here to get 4 outputs, fine. So, that is what we are going to do with the multisim now. So, how to do in multisim, let us see. So, okay. So, I will be taking the AND gates here. In this case, I need a 3 input AND gate, sorry, 2 input AND, uh, 3 input AND gate. Why? Because we have 2 selection lines and there will be 1 data line fine this is and gate 1 this is and gate 2 4 and 5 okay next what i need i need not gates also according to the s0 s1 that i need so i need two not gates here why two not gates because one for the s1 and one for the s0 so here i'll take not get also I okay, will just uh, keep the NOT gate here, 2 NOT gates required, so I will take 2 NOT gates and I will just rotate that, fine. So, now let me zoom out little bit uh, the circuit so that I will just move it upward so that I can place the NOT gate in proper position. Okay. So, NOT gates here will be okay for me. 
fine i have to zoom out a little bit more fine next what i need i need the interactive switches so i'll take one switch and then i'll copy paste all the switch so i'll take interactive switches so interactive switches for the data line and i'll just copy paste it so two interactive switches that will be used for your s1 and s0 next what i need i need the probes also to see the output so here i'll take same color probe for everyone i'll take so let me take the red color probe so probe 1 is here then probe 2 then probe 3 and then probe 4 okay so we'll just rename the probes the first one is y0 so this renaming is not uh, mandatory so we can leave it as it is also it's not mandatory to do the naming sorry this one this is y1 and this one is your y0 similarly here i will take x3 x3 will be your y2 that means the third probe is your y2 and last one is your y3 <coughs> okay so to distinguishable i will keep it little bit far from each other now this probes first one is connected here this is y0 y1 y2 and here it is y3 okay now what is the y0 y0 is equals to s1 dash into s0 dash into d so if i consider let's say this is s1 and this will be s0 okay now s1 dash that means through a not gate it has to go both the things will go through a not gate and it will take one of the input of the and gate fine so now this is s1 dash and s0 dash and this will be connected as it is the input fine next one is y1 so what is y1 s1 dash into s0 so y1 one input is what one input the data input one input is s1 and another input is s0 okay so next one is y2 y2 is s1 into s0 dash so one line will be again for the same data line one line will be for s1 okay the previous one was s0 dash so this will be uh, s1 dash so this is s1 dash and the second one is only s0 okay so that is only s0 now here it is s1 into s0 dash that is available here okay next one is s1 into s0 into d so d again will be connected as it is so this will be connected to your s1 and this will be connected to s0 fine now the circuit is complete we'll uh, let's simulate the circuit and we'll see the output now if i simulate the circuit see if the choice are 0 0 0 0 means what y0 is active and the output will see at y0 all other values remain 0 now if i change the input so if the input is 1 then y0 is 1 if the input is 0 then y0 is 0 fine you see that other the outputs are not changing now if i make this as uh, let's say 0 1 that means the first output y1 so if i change it accordingly it is changing so if i make both equals to 1 in that case the last uh, and gate or the y3 will be activated here fine this is how simply you can implement a demultiplexer using multisim i hope you have understood this in the next videos we will be seeing some other combinational circuits of 
डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स थैंक यू